Okay, now we're gonna use, we're gonna try and see how it uh, works the detection um, uh, of the using the estimation of the pose with the uh, camera calibration file we have. In this case, we're gonna use the following program, <coughs> which is Aruco Test. Okay, Aruco Test receives the following parameters. <coughs> it's live. This is here. We are saying that we are using uh, one of the live cameras I have plugged in my system. In this case, I'm using camera number one. Then I'm setting here uh, minus C and the file of the calibration file here. And <coughs> here uh, I specify the size, the physical size of the marker I'm using for detection. <coughs> so I'm going to run the program. You see, the program will show two windows here. The window here on the right <coughs> is the um, the result of the, the address holded image on which uh, markers are detected. In the left image, we have the original input image, and overlaid we have a 3D cube. Okay, uh, that tells us the, that the estimation of the pose is correct. Okay, and also we have the 3D uh, uh, axis here representing the center of the of the marker. Also, we have some additional information here about the speed of the system. It's running at uh, more or less 500 frames per second. It's quite fast. And, and this is actually the slow method. We're going to try to use, um, uh, we're going to see how to run this program because this program is very nice to uh, work with the parameters of the library. If we press uh, M, we see that it appears uh, these uh, parameters. Okay, the first parameter we see here is to check the detection mode. We want to see how the different detection mode works. As I told you, uh, we are in number zero, which is this, this uh, normal method, uh, this, uh, the one that uh, uses an adaptive dress hole. And now we're going to try with the fast method. In this case, you see that uh, um, the dress hole, the binarized image is using a global dress hole, automatically compute on, on the video. And we have seen that the speed has increased. Okay. Also, one parameter we can set here, also when we call the library, when we call uh, set mode function, is the marker size. Uh, imagine, as I told you uh, at some point, that uh, you know that the size of your marker is a given size. It's, uh, it is. Uh, uh, so, in that case, you don't want to look for very big markers because you know that your marker has a given size. So, if you increase this parameter that uh, in the code goes between 0 and 1, where 1 is the full uh, image size, so if you s increase this, you see that the image, this is the image on which markers will be looked for. So. Since we are reducing the size of the input image on which we are looking for markers, the speed of the system is going to increase. As you see here, we are now reaching over 1,000 frames per second. Okay, but if we, okay, if we uh, reduce this parameter, the speed decreases. Okay, so these parameters are going to help us to detect markers uh, if we know that their size. Okay. This uh, 273 in the code will be 0 0.273. And you can use this uh, software to adjust the parameters for your specific application. Okay, uh, so this is this uh, the fast method. So uh, then we have another method in which instead of uh, this is a video, uh, the, 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 the third detection mode that we're going to try now. Instead of you manually specifying the, the marker size, it's going to detect it uh, based on the information of the previous image. So it's going to automatically adapt the size. Okay. So the good thing is that uh, if you are running on a video, you won't have to specify the main marker size, but just the detection mode video fast, and then it will do it automatically for you. Okay. So you just see this is automatically computing this. If we go even further, as we go further, it will increase the image size. Okay. If we go nearer the image, it will automatically resize. Okay. So it's an automatic detection method. Okay. Going back to the 
normal math method. And now I want to talk about this error rate. What is this about? Okay, uh, by default this is set to zero. And when you set this value to zero, uh, then uh, the detection of a marker has to be perfect. Perfect. I mean, there cannot not be errors in the binary uh, code. Uh, but imagine you are going very far from the uh, from the marker, then you may have this error. So you want you may want to increase this value. So what happens if we have a small error in one bit? Look, if we do like this, let's say. So this black uh, element now is not is no no longer black. It's now white. So if we want to do detection, we can increase the detection error. So now it can correct bits. Okay, it can correct more bits, and uh, your system is more robust to errors, but also is more prone to false positives. So it depends on your application that you want to set this value to zero or not. Okay, I normally don't use this value. I just usually have it uh, put in zero. Okay. Okay, for some user, this is also an interesting option. It shows you in pink all the squares that have been detected uh, on the image. Let's say, okay, you see, all the squares detected are drawn, okay, in pink. Okay, these are candidates to be markers, but then when they when the system analyzes the interior, they see that they are not a valid marker because they don't belong to the dictionary. Okay, so yeah, we see here how it works, and that's it. Okay.